I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's what you need to know today. First, Hutchison Medical Center plans to file Chapter 11 bankruptcy. The hospital's board voted last night to proceed with the filing. Hutchison officials say the filing will allow the hospital to restructure its debt and remain in business. The hospital has been unable to repay $20 million it borrowed from Erlanger Health System. Declaring bankruptcy may help protect the hospital from Erlanger's efforts to foreclose on the property. In total, Hutchison is $60 million in debt. An animal protection group has released some disturbing new video it claims was filmed inside a local chicken processing plant. Mercy for Animals claims that Cook Foods is treating chickens inhumanely at its Chattanooga facility. The video claims workers cruelly throw chickens and hide cockroaches from inspectors. It also says the birds are scald alive and that their chests are sliced open while they're still conscious. Cook Foods has four plants in Hamilton County. It says the video is inaccurate and the depictions are out of context. The company says it won't stand for violations and that an audit two months ago found no violations of animal welfare practices in Chattanooga. More trouble at Chattanooga State Community College. An instructor there says top administrators tried to intimidate teachers to vote in support of President Jim Catanzaro. Catanzaro is under investigation by the Tennessee Comptroller of the Treasury and the Board of Regents. He said the department head told instructors the controversy surrounding the president was made up of lies and rumors and implied that voting no confidence would have consequences. Vice President James Barrett acknowledges his team tried to urge instructors to wait on voting until the state audit was finished, but denied trying to sway their votes. Nevertheless, faculty overwhelmingly voted no confidence in the college president. Cadenzero has not indicated that he plans to step down. Demolition is well underway at the former Harriet Tubman housing complex. About half of the 72 buildings at the site are now gone. The other half is expected to be down by January, and the land is expected to be completely clear by mid-March. Tubman was the city's second largest public housing site. The city plans to convert the land into an industrial site to provide new jobs. Police in Dalton, Georgia fired at a 20-year-old man who pointed a weapon at an officer. Police say Baltimore Jaramillo Garcia was fighting with a woman outside a house on Cap Street. They say he was wearing a bulletproof vest and told officers to shoot him before pointing a BB rifle at them from an upstairs window. An officer fired but didn't hit the man. Aramillo Garcia was arrested on charges of making terroristic threats and cruelty to children. A Dalton man who attacked someone with a claw hammer is going to prison for 10 years. 29-year-old Brandon Lee Silvers was found guilty of aggravated assault. Last December, Ken Arthur was checking on his family's property when Silvers reportedly jumped into his car and attacked him. Arthur pushed Silvers out, drove away, and called 911. Silvers must also undergo a mental health evaluation and submit to drug tests. Finally, a Hamilton County attorney has been disbarred from practicing law. The Tennessee Supreme Court says Michael Lee West's continued practice of law poses a threat of substantial harm to the public. West admitted he violated rules of professional conduct, including misappropriating funds to his own use. He's been ordered to pay restitution to four former clients. Turning to weather, today will be sunny with a high near 50 degrees. The low tonight will be around 30. That's it for today's news. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news all day long at timesfreepress.com.